Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to another part of The Sims 4 Growing Together. How can someone be so happy when they have been suspended from university? I know, <laughs> I know, Barbie can. Honestly, I'm considering dropping out of university because it's so hard. We cannot enroll for another four days. We need eight out of 12 credits, which is crazy because at first we only needed six, but we failed two of the classes, I believe. Yeah, I think two, two classes we failed. I will insert the grade here. At this point, Barbie will be graduating definitely much later than her peers and her cousin. And I don't know what to do anymore. I just feel like, you know, she's happy. She's like, whatever. And university is really hard, but I do want to see my girl walk that stage. But anyway, we do have to get dressed right now because the girls are actually going to go to their first day at daycare. Now it is a Saturday, but the lovely thing about this daycare is that, um, let me actually have Kenneth. Kenneth is working on a web page right now. We really need this money because he failed the last one we had. And it was like 6,000 simoleons for the payout. And he did not complete it in time. Like this stuff really takes all day long. So he can't come with us to drop the girls off. So I'm just going to go with, let's travel with, who should we travel with? I think we're going to travel with our Auntie Angel because she's the one that highly recommended this, um, this daycare. So we're going to go with her and we're going to take our... Our girls and we're also bringing ruby and carlo i cannot make a group with toddlers which i'm really sad about because what in the world why can't toddlers have their own little play group here's the girls new daycare it is the san sequoia daycare check the description if you'd like to you know just get that uh, gallery id really quick we are here because the girls need some socialization okay the girls have their cousins right but we want them to get to know everyone else and literally they barely know their cousins they need some so socialization and oh, hi excuse me i have to go to the bathroom <laughs> this is miss barry she is the director the head of the daycare i actually did a creative sim on them um this is miss barry and then her assistant is where is she where are you girl <gasps> Where is she? I'm gonna cry. Oh, here she goes. And this is her assistant, Miss Boykin. But we also call her Miss Wendy because she doesn't like when people call her like Miss Boykin. She's she's like, just call me Miss Wendy. I think I want all of us to like come over here, like go here together. Barbie, I'm cheating your needs up because oh my goodness, come on. She is actually in her third trimester. We aren't having a typical, like a normal baby shower, but I think we're gonna have a little celebration later on. I did pause her pregnancy using MC Command Center though, because I really wanted her to just stay pregnant a little bit. I wanted to see her carry this third baby. I love how big she is. And she looks like she's carrying a twin, so I'm kind of like low-key scared. I don't even know where we're gonna have our babies. But here we're gonna have Kenny just talk to some of the kids here. I did make all all of these um, toddlers here. This is Fletcher. And then where is... There should be some other toddlers here. Look at her reading a book to Stephanie. This is Stephanie McFarlane. I didn't make their parents or anything. I just made random toddlers so that this kind of would feel like a real toddler area. This cutie pie is Kendall Franklin. Oh, she's... Um, I don't know what she's... Oh no, she just broke that. Someone fix this. And this is Ezra. He's a sweetie pie. He's like the grandpa of the daycare. I kind of have my mind set on having that one little like grandpa kind of character <laughs> in the daycare. So he's super chill. In fact, I think Jor's gonna talk to him because she's more like, she's very chill too. So I feel like they'd be great friends. Oh my God. Oh, Angel. Angel. Oh my gosh. Is she? <gasps> I'm going to pull my hair out, okay? Because in the last episode, Angel asked us, hey, like, should we try for a baby? And here she goes. She is pregnant again. She's pregnant with us. Oh, that kind of takes away from our our um, pregnancy a little bit. Doesn't make it as special. Maybe we could do a little get together in our backyard with the both of us, though. I mean, that's kind of fun that they're pregnant together. I'm not going to lie. That is kind of fun. But oh my goodness, she is preggers. I wonder what she's having. Look at these teachers. I love them. They're very fun, quirky. They know how to stoop to a child's level. They're the type of daycare workers that I feel like will be invited to our personal like home events and everything like that. So I'm going to do a little bit of introduction here, a cheerful introduction to both of them. I don't even know why I haven't done this already. And then share the big news like, hey, I might even have another kid here. 
I'm pregnant again. Oh, do you know what you're having? No, actually tomorrow, I think we're gonna go get an ultrasound. Or Monday. <laughs> Monday, actually, because doctor's offices don't tend to be open. Neither do daycares, though, it's a sentence. Why, why should I care? Barbie is going to send this to Kenneth. Like, okay, so this is Miss Wendy. And then I need a picture with you too. I'm sorry if this is weird. She's like, oh no, it's fine. You millennials sure love your pictures. I'm kidding. <laughs> but she's also gonna say, all right, I'm gonna send this to my husband. This is Miss Berry. Miss Berry dresses very bright and colorful and they make food for their toddlers here. They have their little kitchen. They are open seven days a week, but they're closing soon, I think at six o'clock. So we're gonna head out. Um, but they leave it open on the weekends too because they're so down to play with the toddlers and so many people need reliable child care on the weekends too and a lot of daycares do not open on the weekends unfortunately so this is why this is like a great place because you know Kenneth and her can go do something while the girls come here and it'll just be a fun time they can get a little break while the girls are socializing and doing all that good stuff so they're eating and they're making friends I want her to like talk to everyone talk to everyone be friends with people you all know that this is very hard for Miss Jory Lynn here walking through these big calls and thinking to herself like oh my gosh where's my mommy where's my mommy where's my mommy <laughs> she is not feeling it even though she is our cute big girl she's just definitely not feeling it you know she is always scared um and kenny on the other hand is embracing it she's happy on my own she feels independent she feels excited well, we're back home and honestly these girls are so cute but yeah i'm thinking we could have like a small little barbecue or something in the backyard um i may even set that up tomorrow since tomorrow is sunday quick peek at the calendar here i said i didn't want a baby shower but i do kind of feel like we should have a baby shower so we are the expecting parents and we're gonna invite over our family of course angel's invited so she basically can celebrate with us too kind of thing and let's invite julia like the new head teacher let's just invite them so that we can get a relationship with them i i love that like i can't help it so many people invited to the to our baby shower we don't need a caterer because we have our lola and we're gonna have it here at our house Let's have it right here, and then we'll probably have it at like mm, 12, 12 in the afternoon. Kenneth, please tell me you finished this. No, he did not finish making the website page. He has to finish this. But let me just have him stop doing what he's doing so that Barbie can come in here, and she can at least, like, give him, um, let's see, tell unbelievable story. Like, you won't believe these ladies are so nice. We picked such a good daycare center. I think you're going to love them. He's like, oh, man, like, I'm so bummed that I didn't get to meet them, but we'll, we'll, you know, when we pick them up and stuff, like, I'll see them there. I'm so happy the girls like their um, teachers and stuff. So ask Kenneth about his day. She wants to ask him about his day, which is really sweet and thoughtful of her because, you know, let's ask about. Oh, I love this. It's okay to be a little awkward. We should have been used this interaction. And then ask about day. We're telling our unbelievable story. She's like, the bathrooms are clean. Everything is clean. They're nice. They have cameras in the daycare. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the, the children there are all really sweet. I didn't see anyone misbehaving. They make all of their food and they make like organic fruit bowls and stuff. One thing I really love that you all mentioned was that Barbie seems very slobby, very childish, lazy. Um, and like everyone else does everything for her and she kind of just is here doing whatever. But yeah, it is kind of true. And I kind of like that. I've never had a character where, you know, she is a bit... A bit aloof in the world, I guess you could say. Barbie had her kids young. She is used to being very spoiled with her family. She has 88 days until she's an adult, like an actual adult. So just imagine how much growth she'll have in between that time. Oh my gosh, I love this. Let's list this on Plopsy. This is too good. I don't even want to sell this for 527. So this episode, I'm going to focus on making money, gigs after gigs. We may have to sacrifice some some time with our kids and our wife, our relationship. Thank goodness for Lola because she's over here potty training for us right now. I do have Lola doing some knitting. We do need to get her a rocking chair, but I don't want to spend any money on anything extra right now. So she actually knitted um, a baby onesie because Barbie is pregnant and it's kind of gender neutral, so it doesn't matter like if it's a boy or girl hopefully not twins <laughs> then she or he can wear that so she's been knitting for them oh my gosh did we finish this yes thank you so much kenneth um three this was web page three i don't care what it's called i'm so happy that kenneth finally got this done <laughs> he finally got one done and unfortunately he has to get another gig now i'm not going to have him 
do too many. I do want him to play with his girls a little bit. I know Kenny's off to bed, but she'll be up soon. I can, I'm just, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Oh, I can still lift this little, this little rascal up and I love it. It's so cute. There are two gigs that pay over 6,000 simoleons and that's what we need. I need to hit 10K already. We need money because we need to move soon. We're having a baby. I'm freaking out. We can work on ambitious MMO project, which is the game or puzzle platformer. I'm honestly going to go with the one that pays more. They're both level nine, but I think that Kenneth would actually be more like passionate about this one. So let's have him. It says I studied game documents, but I designed documents, but I don't think I did that. So, oh well. And then it says we have to make the video game. That's due on Wednesday. So we're just gonna work on that tomorrow because he needs rest, he needs to refuel. And he actually, you all, check this out, has programming level 10 now. So he is well equipped to do this. I mean, seriously. And I may even get him a new computer if we get some more money. I really want to get some now. But I, I want to hit 10K before I start spending any money in this episode. Like, do not let me spend any money. I also want to pay our aunt back. So we could start a side job. Ooh, we can continue making the video game? We must have had a video game that we didn't finish yet. Oh, that's probably from the thing that we forgot. I'm going to overclock our computer while he does have free time since the girls are sleeping oh no he could actually not don't worry about it come play with kenny she actually needs some attention and stuff so i'm going to give her a family kiss hi baby girl i miss you oh jody's girl Mwah. oh my gosh are you gonna tell me about preschool or daycare i mean are you gonna tell me about daycare i said preschool we definitely have to vacuum down here poor minnie she's been upstairs for so long that she's like neglected this part she probably sleeps on the couch or just anywhere she can lay her head because she's so busy taking care of our kids i was up early this morning so i'm gonna have her serve up some breakfast and let's go into granny's cookbook and i want something really yummy Oh, she's going to make her husband's favorite biscuits and gravy. I feel like it's been a while since they had some biscuits and gravy. And she knows that that's Ken. That's like, that's his thing. He loves biscuits and gravy. And he's been working so hard. And I'm just so proud of him. And let's make sure that he gets in a quick shower. We have to move from this beautiful, beautiful place. And I'm sad. But the reason why we have to move, though, is because, I mean, for a little bit, the baby will stay in our room because, I mean... It'll be like literally a newborn baby. So that's perfectly fine. Even if it's an infant, it can stay in our room. But once it's a toddler, like we need to definitely move. We do have a little bit of decorations for the holiday. <gasps> that reminds me, we actually need a tree. We need a Winterfest tree. What am I thinking? Okay. Remember that thing that I said about not spending money? We're going to take that back. Okay. Just pretend I never said that because we need a Winterfest tree. And we also need a couple of chairs. <laughs> and a barbecue, like a grill. So we have our tree and then we'll probably put some gifts down, right? You all wanna put some gifts down? No, we're not gonna do any gifts, but let's just say that Barbie's probably going to get Kenneth something he really wants. You see this computer case? This is from around The Sims 4 or two. We'll put some presents under it tomorrow, Winterfest Eve. I think Winterfest Eve is tomorrow, right? And let's get a grill or whatever. Let me just make it light in here really quick. We need the classic barbecue chairs. Okay, you can't, you can't have a, you know, like we need the classic chairs, right? And I actually want it to be a little mix, mixed match, kind of. Like maybe we could have two of these and that will be for our baby shower today. Yay, that's cute. Oh, but I love this early morning feel. Oh, I love it so much. It makes you feel like, you know, like everything's so still, everyone's sleeping. We'll probably give birth on Wednesday. I'll probably have her, um, or no, I'll resume her pregnancy Monday. I'll resume it tomorrow. So she'll probably go go to labor on Winterfest or something. <laughs> oh, she created a masterpiece. Oh, I don't want to sell it. I really don't want to sell it. Oh, well. We need the money, I don't care. And it's really not that cute, so I don't even wanna hang it up, so it's okay. And then let's make a, let me do a classic painting, get one of those in and keep working on that. I really, I'm, I'm told you, I told one of you, I forgot who it was, but I'm like, nope, I'm gonna make an episode where I'm just focused, I am focused on making that money, honey. And Kenneth is very focused. Something about him is changing, like he seems so much more mature than Barbie, it's not even funny. Death is inevitable, Kenneth knows that. Kenneth just didn't think that he would be thinking about it so soon. There is still so much to do. How will Kenneth get everything done if death is just around the corner? Is it safer to just hide forever? <gasps> oh my gosh, does he have a fear of death? 
Carlo, hot tip. There's some great performers playing at the flea market this week. You up for a visit? Oh, Carlo, man, I thought you were coming to the baby shower today. There's a baby shower? Well, yeah. Well, it's kind of low-key. You know, it's not like a... It's not like the baby shower we had last time, but we're just getting family together. You know, bring gifts if you want. We're just kind of chilling out on a Sunday. I'm grilling out. He's like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll do that instead. Carlo, by the way, has an amazing relationship with Kenneth. Do you see this? I love that one of you said that Kenneth could be a good influence on Carlo and kind of like, you know, help him do the right thing and be a better husband. Well, the baby shower starts in an hour. Oh, my goodness. So let's put the pound cake over here. This could be for dessert. There we go. Some yummy, some yummy food. And let's just go ahead and start grilling out. We'll probably do some grilled chicken. You know what? This this bath is taking way too long. And it, it's about to start. So, Quirk revealed, loves water, huh? Jorlin seems a little obsessed with water for some reason. Toddlers who love water are more likely to do things like splash in toilets, ask to take baths, and seek out other activities involving water. Oh, Jor, you're so cute. I love you so much. Guess what? My date with Alvin Lamb. Okay, that's good, auntie. She went out on a date and she told oh, Kenneth. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she told Barbie too, but probably couldn't get in contact with Barbie, so she called Kenneth's phone and they probably were on speakerphone, like just chatting it up with her. You all should definitely check out these little um, toddler mods by Panda Sama. They're so good. You can ride a little horse in or whatever. Six Sam actually created like a recolor of the little Rocky horse. So Barbie's all dressed and ready to go. The baby shower is about to begin. So yes, we will start that. And no, we're not going to wear this outfit, girl. It's played out. So our main goal is to talk about the baby like a thousand times. Look, here goes the daycare workers. Kenneth can talk to them when he's done. He can introduce himself. You want a hot dog, don't you? That's what you want, lady. You want a hot dog. Let's come hug. Our auntie try to cheer up family member. Yes, what's wrong with you? And then we have to gush about the baby one more time. You don't want to feel the baby? Oh, she doesn't want to hug. Oh, I should have known not to give her a hug. She doesn't like hugs. Repay loan, 2000 <gasps> Gosh, that's definitely gonna put a dent in, right? We have to repay this loan. I totally forgot. Oh my gosh. And Minnie's just gonna slide this 2000 you know, real easy. Like, oh, here, by the way. <laughs> here goes that 2000 simoleons you gave us. There we go. Paid her back. 2000 Thanks, Minnie. I appreciate that. Yep, I see it on my phone now. I see it got transferred. Thank you. Hey, man. How's it going? Yeah, man. I was trying to see if you want to watch some of the, uh, you know, fellas down there perform. Oh, no, it's okay. So, well, this is really nice, you know. Yeah, and just pregnant, too. She's talking about having something at our house, too. But um, hopefully this will suffice, you know. Oh, baby shower gift has been placed in your inventory. Thank you. Oh, they got us a gift. Our daycare worker. The ladies from the daycare got us a gift. What is it? Oh, it's a little toy. It's a Mr. Blue Bear. I love this. I love how, like, in this baby shower, like, it wasn't super planned or anything. Because, you know, you're really only supposed to have one, I think. One baby shower for, like, your first baby or something. I don't know. But I just feel like it's nice that, like, we're just all here chilling. We got the kids walking around. Everything's a little festive. And I love the weather here in San Sequoia. It's just, it's not even, like, super cold. Oh, it's awesome. So we have a lot of good people here. Obviously, it would be great if we had mom and dad here, too. Is she giving him a bath? <laughs> he must have got dirty at the party. He must have got so dirty, you stinky boy. Oh my goodness. She said, mm, can I use your bathtub? Talk about favorite show, talk about toys. Reassure? She can reassure her? Maybe she's like nervous at the party. She can reassure her that is adorable. I get sad sometimes. Oh, did she just take a deep breath? Silly behavior, sing a song. Oh my God, that's so cute. I'm like obsessed with their conversation. I'm sorry, like I'm playing as a toddler right now. Yeah, and then I told my sister like, you better not touch. Oh, is she reassuring her? <gasps> she wanted to give her a hug and she didn't want a hug. I guess you don't like hugs, huh? <laughs> How cute. Okay, so the baby shower is complete. Barbie got charisma level eight and oh, Kenneth got charisma level three. That is adorable. Oh no, four. Wow, that's cool. All right, and so we also have another reward in there. So that's awesome. Okay, cool. Barbie, I think, feels so nervous. Like, she's like, I cannot believe we're going to have a baby soon. I cannot wait to find out, like, if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, I love this. Finally, they have a dynamic with each other. Close. Yes, 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 they do. They are very close. Finally. <laughs> because I'm like, do I have to make them best friends or something? We are going to decorate our tree with Lola because Kenneth has to. 
<laughs> come over here. Oh, he just fixed the sink. Okay, good. Okay, good. But he is going to let the ladies do the little decorations, not because he can't, but because he's not pressed on what it looks like. He'll just throw the colors up there anywhere and everywhere. Oh, that was such a good drawing. So he'll just be with the kiddos and play with them and... You know, just talk with them for a little bit. Look at the drawing Jorlin made. She's gonna be just like her mom. She's gonna be a little artist. Light controls, let's turn this on. Oh my gosh, this TV is loud. What in the world? Oh, look at her tree. It's so cute. Can we please light the fire? There's something in the way. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother with it. I'm not gonna bother with it. I'm going to have Barbie read the girls a story before they go to bed. So we're gonna do um, a dog on a log. Sure, why not? Dog on a log sounds like a great book to read barbie's super tired but she has to research out for two hours so i just want her to like get her some reading in with the kids you know so they're coming they're very very tired too and she is too but we need a story to be read you know oh i love how <laughs> who is this jor i love how she just sitting on the on the little chair there listening to her mommy read and it's winter fest eve officially so in like three hours we need to hurry up and take our ultrasound or go to our ultrasound because doctor's offices are closing early today come on Kenneth, you're almost done you're almost done you're almost done with this it's like nine o'clock we're gonna be late for our appointment winter fest is tomorrow i'm so excited we're gonna place presents under the tree and everything i probably won't do winter fest in this episode i'll probably start it off in the next and you know just being that we did so much like i try not to overwhelm us too much with everything right like oh my goodness kenny here is playing a little bit of an imaginary play she is talking on the phone <laughs> calling up her favorite cartoon character probably yep sure is she's going to wait Wake up Jor and we like, can you play with me? So we're gonna grab some food for Kenny. She's pretty hungry and we'll grab her some, what's something breakfasty? Yeah, pancakes and berries. Well, mom's trying to do a little different, you know, make it do, have a little bit more effort in what she's doing. So she's gonna give this to Kenny. Oh my gosh, thanks. Oh my God. Wait, why do we only have 2000 something? <gasps> Wait, I'm confused. Oh, I think this thing got so confused. Enter a name for this new video game. Uh, Sim Slayers? That sounds a little scary. Oh, it's like partial. It literally counted the video game he made as one, but now he has to study design documents. We're never gonna get this ultrasound. <laughs> like literally. I'm gonna have him stop what he's doing and we're just gonna go. But we have the girls fed. Look at her, she's so cute. All right, Kenny. Like, I said Kenny, Kenneth, we have to go. We have to go get this ultrasound. Like, I told them 9 o'clock. Now we can leave out and get our ultrasound. So, ultrasound, we'll go with Kenneth. All right, Kenneth, no, don't use the bathroom. Now we're going to go. I wonder what we're going to have, y'all. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I think Barbie wouldn't even mind if she had another girl because she just loves having girls, you know. But I also think that having a boy would be really cool, too. I feel like they're just so used to girls that they're like, okay, like if we have another girl, it's whatever. But the patient named above is pregnant with one baby. Thank goodness. It will most likely be a boy. Oh, my God, we're going to have a boy, you know? Let's put the ultrasound picture right here. Can we like hang it up or oh, it has to be right here. Oh, that's a big ultrasound. Oh, well, we're really having a boy and I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm excited. I can't help it. But let's go ahead and have Kenneth finish this up. The um, <laughs> gig was kind of backwards. It said I studied design. Then it said I didn't. But we're going to get it done. So this. And honestly, I feel like we need to go do something fun. Yes, look at it. We're finally getting somewhere in life. 15,414. And I did not cheat. Now that he has a little bit more confidence, he has a little bit more charisma skills and just great at programming in general. I feel like we could just go back in the tech guru career so that we can accomplish this part of the computer whiz aspiration. It does say that we have to reach level five of this career to at least just complete it. So maybe even getting a level five of this career now will probably be ideal. I mean. I don't know. What do you all think? Should we switch to the tech career or should we continue freelancing? I mean, I'm 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 pretty satisfied with the fact that we got some money. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another gig so that we can get some more money. And honestly, I feel like Minnie could help us out too before she leaves us. God forbid, I'm not saying in death. Ooh, instant messenger app project. We had to go big or go home. You know, we had to get the expensive stuff. I mean, he is sacrificing father for sure. And it's definitely giving us not a lot of time with our family. But I mean, I just, we have to. I think Barbie has some harvestables in her. Yes, she has that tulip. We can plant some more tulips and we can put this in Minnie's garden. And this gives Minnie something really fun to do also, you know, so I kind of like that, that she gets something, she has something else to do too, besides always being with the girl. Open. 
and open. What do we get? Ooh, daisies, which are common in spring. So we could actually, let's get those in right now. And then we also have, oh, we have some holly. Uh, well, winter is about to be over soon, but I guess we could make a little bit of profit. You get, I think holly, like you get like a good amount off of that. And we have the tulips, which are good in spring too. Let's get like one tulip. Jory Lee is calling. Sure. Oh, Barbie, you got to wake up because your auntie's calling you. <laughs> Okay, this is nice. And now Minnie will have something to do. I love that. We'll wait for our garden to flourish. See, Minnie is planting seeds. She is, I mean, literally planting seeds. She is going to make us rich. I'm telling you. And, oh, is that Jor? Oh my goodness, Dita. Invite her in, please. We could, you know, use the family vibes here. Play some winter holiday. Yay, I feel the spirit of the winter spirit. Oh, it feels festive. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Yep, this is the energy that we needed. Thank you. Let's play veterinarian. You wanna play veterinarian? Okay, I'm gonna go get Lady. Okay, well, let's, I'm gonna draw a pet. She's gonna draw. Come on, Jory, you gotta draw. That's your job. You're gonna draw the pets. And then Kenny's gonna, come on, Lady. You look like you need to go to the vet. Hmm? Look at her ear. What? Please no. <laughs> please no, don't take me to the vet, please. And my gift to my Sims, we're all gonna get your needs cheated up. Like everyone is gonna be so happy. Like <laughs> that's my winter fest gift to my Sims. I wanna have fun, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't feel like doing needs right now. Oh, these cookies are not good, try again. Oh no, oh she still peed on herself. I caught it way too late. Okay, you know what, Barbie? You go have a, you go have a ball and you go sing in the shower, baby. Oh, look at auntie. Oh my gosh, I love her. Okay, so our cookies did not turn out great between me and Kenneth. Let's have Lola make something this time. She's gonna make some gingerbread cupcakes <laughs> for us. Ah, we love you, Minnie. What would we do without you? Literally, what would we do without you? <gasps> and it's a father winter. Oh my gosh, girls, wait a minute. Oh my God, I thought you were supposed to come at 12 a.m. Ask for a present. May I have a present, Father Winter? I've been very, very good this year. Please? No? Oh, you suck. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. Ask again. Give me a present. Why are you being so stingy? Minnie hates to waste food, but she's going to clean these up because these are just awful. He really came on time. I haven't seen Father Winter in so long. I normally just take him out of my game because I'm just like, whatever. Like, I could care less if, if you visit us or not. Yay, everyone is here. Oh, look at Princess. Oh, my gosh. I love our family. I love our family. Wow. And is this Carlo dressed up wearing a mistletoe on his head? What? Or Holly, whatever that is. I'm surprised because... He's definitely, like, not the type to do that. This is our Winterfest e Eve Barbie. And I don't want this to be too long. And plus, I feel like the baby will be born in the next episode. So I'll save Winterfest for then. I swear, Carlo is, like, our best friend. Should we become best friends with Carlo? Should we? You know, because I feel like he, like, he always is the last to leave. And he feels like he's being more involved with the family. Hey, man. Yeah, Mary, Mary Winterfest, man. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. You're a good man. Yeah, I feel like they're like best friends. Like legit best friends. And watch channel, watch fireplace. Did she have her baby already? <gasps> she had the baby already. She had to because she doesn't look pregnant anymore and she looks so sad. Okay, we have to see the baby. I'll have to definitely see the baby. Look at the fireplace channel, y'all. I got the mood here. The thing that we're gonna do last is decorate underneath the tree because I do want it to look really full. So we're definitely gonna put this big computer box here. And I know they're like all out right here in the open, so they might like be able to see this and stuff, but <laughs> I just have to make it like this. Um, all of this stuff can be found on Around the Sims 4. It's the Advent 2019. And one thing that I'm gonna stuff behind the tree this is gonna be for Barbie because we know she's been talking about it. I'm gonna get her a drone so she can film herself painting or whatever vlogging she wants to get into. She expressed to Kenneth how she did wanna do some of that. And you know, who knows? She might just do it for memories or she might actually like, you know, edit. You know, we get a bigger house, we get the video station and she could make some money being a YouTuber 
for some super. So we have that in the tuck right there, okay? We have some crayons for the girls and stuff. And I guess we could get them some more toys. They really don't need any more toys though. I feel like we have enough toys. Let's just, we have a box of crayons down there. Let's just pretend they have some gifts down there. But yes, so I think Barbie's gonna be really excited when she sees that. But I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming and always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next video. All right, peace out.